Well, good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Michael Wilhite here with Southern Indiana Weather. It is early on this Thursday morning. It is 6.12 a.m. Eastern Time, 5.12 a.m. Evansville Time. I'm an early riser. Before I have to head off to my day job, I want to do at least... Uh, give you the latest on the thinking for the severe weather threat for tonight. This is a very serious situation that we are facing tonight, and I want to bring you the latest details on it. All right, today's video update, real quick, is sponsored by, if I can get it up here, Metal Magic in Washington. Give Chad a call at 698 8555 for all of your paintless dent repair needs. They have a traveling hail team, and uh, folks, they can take good care of you whenever it comes to damage to your car from uh, severe weather which by the way looks like we may have tonight and large hail could be on the table so make sure you write metal magic's number down again 6988555 they're across from the radio shack in washington and they are pdr nation certified so you can be sure that you're getting quality work uh, with them all right, here is radar in motion this morning. We've got one batch moving out, but we are going to have plenty more batches to come throughout the day. We're sitting in the mid-60s right now, 64 at the Huntingburg Airport, 62 down here um, at the Evansville Airport, 55 up in Washington, 57 at the Vincennes Lawrence. Ville Airport, 54 up in Bloomington, 56 in uh, Louisville as well. We're going to warm very nicely today. If I just back it out, you can see some warnings already firing out into Illinois and uh, more flash flood warnings than anything here. Let's switch to the regional view. Go into the, our uh, GR Earth product here, and you can see here's your low pressure system back here. This is going to track sort of in a fashion similar to this as the evening goes on, and that will drag the cold front with it. The closer it gets to us, the better our chances for severe weather but as you can see there is plenty of storms developing and we even have some storms developing down in here this is all tracking like this so we will keep an eye on monitoring it for us today we do have a slight risk for severe weather for most of us today here's the latest spc outlook but what i want you to notice is the moderate risk does now graze some of our southwest indiana counties all right let's take a look at the probabilities on this as well remember a moderate risk is at least a 45 percent risk for something all right. Typically, it's with the wind speed. So if we just take a look here, this is actually the hail. Let me look at the wind first. Here's where that moderate risk is. There's at least a 45% risk here uh, for the wind. Here's what the tornado probabilities are. And this looks like this could be a very significant tornado event for uh, southern Illinois, uh, Missouri, portions of Arkansas, western Kentucky maybe extending into us almost all of us here are in a five percent risk for a tornado uh, and uh, that's you know five percent doesn't seem very high but that's that's really high whenever it comes to a tornado risk uh, and then you can see uh, the bullseye sort of is down here with a 15 percent risk uh, 10 percent risk here and then the hatched area is uh, at risk for significant long tracked tornadoes so this is not something to play around with folks today uh, unfortunately all three modes of severe weather, really all four modes of severe weather, uh, are in play today. You have a very strong tornado risk. I would not be surprised for today someone to see strong EF2s or better, maybe even some long tracked ones out of this. By the way, today is the 40th anniversary of the April 3rd, 1974 tornado outbreak. That was just a super outbreak, and uh, you'll probably hear about it on the news today uh, and yeah we're going to celebrate severe weather mother nature just gives us maybe a repeat of that i hope not um, but it looks like we very easily and very strongly could see some long track tornadoes at least over some places today we'll have to watch those to see whether anything like that occurs in our area but we are underneath of a enhanced risk there for tornado development winds we are also under a very strong risk you can risk for winds you can see a 45 percent risk for winds just damaging straight line winds here uh, extends at least into Posey County, uh, Evansville area, Vanderburg County here. 30% risk for both of us. And then uh, remember, 30% risk is the upper end slight with that. Hail, yes, we have a strong risk for hail as well. All of us are underneath of a 30% risk for large hail and 15% for the rest of us. Most of us, I should say, not all of us are here under the risk for uh, large, large hail. Again, upper end slight risk. So put it short, sweet, and to the point. Um, we're right most of us are on the edge of a moderate risk and uh, some of us are actually in it this is not a day to play around uh, so let's take it out uh, real quick here with timing and we'll look at that let's take a look at the high resolution NAM first 
here's pretty much what we're experiencing this morning. We got this batch of rain moving out, and eventually, you notice it starts to clear out some during the afternoon hours. I will say this. If it clears out some during the afternoon hours and we do get some peaks of sunshine today, that's very bad. You don't want sunshine on a day like this. With the wind energy that we're going to be dealing with anyway and the dynamics at play, we don't need sunshine to come out because sunshine is just going to destabilize the atmosphere that much more. I think we're going to get severe weather in the area even without the sun coming out. I think it's just one of those type of setups where we can have that today. But anytime the sun comes out today is only going to make things worse. So maybe this is a day that we just pray the sun does not come out. But with the high resolution NAM, you can see we get some breaks in the action and then uh, you notice some storms start to fire up late, and then, of course, the main line drags in overnight. Looks like we'll have a couple of rounds with this. It looks like later this evening, say maybe 5, 6 o'clock afterwards, we could start to see some supercells initiate, and then after that, a main line warm toward the overnight hours. And both could end up being severe, so it could be end up being a very long night. Let me take you to the HER model, which is a much more high-resolution model than what the 4-kilometer NAM is. The HER model is the highest-resolution model we've had, and let me just show you this. Here's the batch of storms that's moving out, and you see we get more, more storms this morning sort of uh, develop up. And then... Those start to move out during the day, and we get a little bit of a break in action for some of us. But by the time this evening comes, and we only see out to 6 o'clock, it's a very short-range model, you start to see more showers and thunderstorms developing here. And some of these could end up being severe. It indicates the most severe could be done here in south in, uh, in uh, southwestern Kentucky here at, at, at the point in time. But uh, that may change over the coming portions of the day. We'll have to monitor that, but again, you see even here, maybe by uh, 6 o'clock here, you've got some supercells developing in the area as well. So again, it's something that we're going to have to monitor and, and, and track throughout the day. I'll be here providing updates throughout the day as needed, uh, as well as be here for the duration of the event. Folks, uh, if you go to my website, southernindianaweather.com, and uh, if you go to uh, Southern Indiana Weather on Facebook, you've probably seen the cover photo up at the top. Most of the time it says tracking storms, keeping you safe. That is sort of our motto here at Southern Indiana Weather. It's more than just a motto, folks. That's, that's what I do. Uh, I will be here all evening long through the duration of this event, tracking these storms, monitoring them, posting regular updates to Facebook and Twitter, and then videos as needed this evening and as uh, time allows. So it's going to be a very active night, folks. Hang with us. Uh, this could be a very rough day. And um, well, I don't really want to take a whole lot of time to go into the severe weather parameters, uh, but just on the basics of it, the low-level jet is going to ramp up tonight. We're going to have plenty of wind energy in the low levels of the atmosphere. We're going to have plenty of wind energy here in the mid-levels of the atmosphere if we just take a look at uh, um, instability wise our cape values convective available potential energy we have the instability values there we have other things that are concerning us as well the EHI energy helicity index greater than one is conducive to tornado development one starts in the green and you see the bullseye is sort of right over here in that moderate risk zone but we are not out of that risk either uh, we could take a look at really a lot of things that would, would uh, spell out that this could be a potentially significant severe weather outbreak, but I'll spare you through going through all of them. One other thing I will show you is just precipitable water values. I haven't talked about this yet, but the fourth mode of severe weather that we could easily see today is flash flooding. Uh, just take a look at this steady plume of moisture coming from the Gulf of Mexico. And that's exactly the source region for all this rain that's coming in. It's, it's just uh, this low that's moving in. Eventually, as you can see, it starts to take more of a negative tilt. We've talked about this before. When those lows take a negative tilt, it's like a vacuum cleaner. It just sucks sucks the moisture right up from the Gulf of Mexico, creates rising motion. That leads to, that leads to uh, stronger thunderstorms, but that leads to also more rain as well. And uh, flash flooding could be a real concern for us today. So we've got to watch out uh, not only for tornadoes this evening and overnight, not only for large hail, not only for damaging straight line winds in excess of 60 miles an hour, maybe even 70 or more. Um, We've got to watch out for flash flooding as well. So really all four modes of, of, uh, of severe weather are on the table for us. All right. It's not a pretty picture tonight. If you love severe weather, it's very pretty. Um, but uh, for those of us uh, who hate to see, uh, you know, I love a good thunderstorm, but I also don't want to see damage to life and property. And uh, folks, I, I, I can't stress how serious of a situation this is tonight. Now is the time to make your preparations as far as everything you need. Get your flashlights ready. Make sure you got your cell phone completely charged up. 
Uh, what if uh, something does strike you? A tornado does strike your house or, or uh, power, power lines get knocked down by uh, severe winds in your area. Have a, have a fully charged cell phone. Make sure you got a flashlight handy with batteries in it and uh, everything you need. Now's the time to get those things ready. You've got a few hours yet to prepare for those folks. So keep that in mind and get your emergency preparedness kits ready. All right, go to southernindianaweather.com. We also have a great interactive radar, and you can see here we are again at 6.22 a.m. now. You can see those showers moving out of the region. Again, plenty more today. We've looked at that on future radar. We'll take a look here at your seven-day forecast sponsored by Eubelor and Sons. Uh, first, let me go to your plan your day graphic, and you can see just kind of high temperatures expected around the area. Low to mid-70s for most of us. It's going to be a beautiful day as far as temperature-wise goes, but it's going to stink as far as the rain and the severe weather with that cooler as you head towards the north. But again, I'm forecasting about 74 for us here at uh, where I officially forecast for here in Dubois County. But uh, uh, that's, and uh, by the way, I say I officially forecast for that. For those of you that are outside the county, that's not to exclude you because I do these plan your day forecasts also so that you can get high temperatures uh, in a town at least near you. But uh, I want verification. I want to see whether I blew it on my high or whether I made it right for the high. And since I live here in Dubois County, I forecast high temperatures for the Huntingburg Airport and then just make graphics plan your day temperatures for the surrounding areas. So, But again, this is valid really pretty much for anywhere in southern Indiana within two or three degrees. We're all usually pretty much the same. Regardless, mostly cloudy, numerous intervals of showers and thunderstorms today. Breezy, those strongest severe thunderstorms are very likely tonight. Moderate risk for severe weather for some of us, slight risk for at least all of us. 74 for your high. Friday will start to clear out, and again by mid-morning, I think we're going to be pretty good with this, up to a high of 63. Again, very breezy southwest winds. Tomorrow as well, we'll turn partly cloudy probably in the afternoon hours. Dip down into the upper 30s on Friday night, and then sun Saturday, I know there's a lot of yard sales going on. Ferdinand has its uh, community-wide yard sale going on. And there's probably a lot of other events around the area that we could mention, too, that I don't necessarily have time for or know about at the moment. But Saturday looks like a gorgeous day, mostly sunny skies, temperatures in the mid-50s. It'll be a little cool to start out in the morning time, but it'll warm up pretty quickly throughout the day. And then take a look at this. Yeah, showers on Sunday night, showers on Monday, showers on Tuesday, showers on Wednesday. Boy, doesn't it seem like a broken record. Uh, it's springtime. Hey, April showers bring May flowers, right? Let's hold it and see whether we get that. All right, that is the latest video for this morning, folks. Plenty of updates throughout the day and more of these as needed tonight uh, if and when uh, we do end up with tornado watches being issued like I probably, like I expect that we most likely will. So keep it tuned right here. That's it for today, uh, for this video anyway. For Southern Indiana Weather, I'm meteorologist Michael Wilhite. Have a great night. Have a great day, folks. I'm used to saying night.